I don't usually make serious videos like this where I share my personal opinions on things that are important. I think too many content creators and celebrities that know nothing about politics, war, household items you can stick your dick in, share their opinions on subjects they shouldn't be talking about at all. People just listen to them because they have a lot of followers. Even if they're the least qualified people to be talking about. Having said that, this is something that I feel like I can't ignore anymore. Ranking household items you can stick your dick into has been far too important to me for far too long. So I'm going to share my opinion. Even if you guys don't agree with me, even if it pisses some of you off. So we got the tier list right here. I'm going to go through every known household object that could potentially be f***ed and rank them from S to F, S being the best and F being the worst. Alright, let's get started. Good old roll of paper towels. This is probably one of the first things every dude thought of when he started to hit that age of, I wonder what it'd be like to stick my dick in that. Because it looks like a perfect circle, the perfect diameter where it fits. And there's enough meat around it that you can hold it and go to town. Let's see. Okay, so it feels about as expected. It fits in perfectly, which is nice. And it's super long, so you don't have to worry about it popping out in the other However, end. cardboard isn't as lubricated as you'd expect it to be. This is more of a stick-in and less of a f I think it's a good baseline, right in the middle, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a C. Roll of toilet paper. Alright, it's pretty much the same as a roll of paper towels. The diameter's the same, it's also super long again, so you don't have to worry about sticking out in the other end. But again, cardboard hurts, so C. A banana. And I'm a little curious to hear about this one because all of my experience with a banana has been on the other end. But apparently, if you cut the banana at the top, don't peel it open, this is important, and scoop out the banana on the inside, it leaves you with a banana skin with a hollowed out center that's approximately the same diameter and shape of a roll of toilet paper with the added benefit of the natural lubrication of a banana. All right. All right, that, that fucking sucks. I'm gonna put that on the F tier. The thing just basically falls apart instantly. You get banana all over your dick, your hands, the floor. Usually after guys finish, we self-reflect about the porn we just watched or the fact that it's November 3rd and we've already failed no, no, November. Well, you have to self-reflect while cleaning the banana you just fucked up off the floor using the paper towels that you also just fucked. I mean, what am I doing here? A Pringles can, a latex glove, and two sponges. Now we're getting into it. The OG. Let's see. That's what I'm f***ing talking about. F yeah, that shit was awesome. That was amazing. Super easy to clean up because of the glove. Not messy at all. Felt exactly like what I imagined the real thing to feel like. S tier. S tier definitely. That shit was amazing. Your childhood stuffed animal. Boy, do I re All right. Not as bad as you would expect. There's something to be said about it feeling more like an alive thing. I mean, I mean don't get me wrong, you still know what you're doing. But on a scale of how alive it is, a human being the most alive and a roll of paper towels being the least alive, I'd say a stuffed animal is somewhere in the middle. And you feel that. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B. Vacuum cleaner. It does all the sucking for you, if you know what I mean. I don't have a circular vacuum. That just hurt. Couch cushions. Couch cushions? Go on your knees here about penis level with the couch and insert between the couch cushions. Do this while parents are out of time. Yeah, no shit. Alright guys, that's um that's gonna be the end of the video. I can't keep sticking my dick into things I find around the house. Um I need a girlfriend. Okay. Thanks for watching.